Well, you guys saw the title, and it seems like I have some explanation to do. So in case if you're new to the channel, my name's Yash, and I've been in the e-commerce and dropshipping space for a little over five years now. And just like everyone else, I've had some major initial losses, but over the time, I've also had some really big wins where I've generated multiple six figures on my Shopify store. Point is that dropshipping or any other online business is not going to be rainbows and butterflies. If anyone says that, well, quite frankly, they're pretty delusional. Anyway, let's get to the main point as to why you click on this video. I want to share a recent experience I had on my Shopify store with this specific product and I think this will be helpful to a lot of you guys especially to the ones that are just starting out in the space so definitely stick around till the end of the video. So let's address the elephant in the room TikTok. Now with TikTok's uprise over the past 12 to 18 months as a social media platform a lot of e-commerce business owners you know intermediates and advanced players honestly even beginners have been able to generate so much money for the Shopify dropshipping stores in specific without any upfront ad spend practically with no money upfront at all and to my belief this is one of the greatest opportunities that have been around to generate free and quick money online. I call this the organic posting strategy. And if you've been on my channel for some time now, you've probably heard and seen me talk about this a bunch of times in which you'll see me dive into the depths of it in this video right over here. So anyway, I was scrolling on TikTok one night and I found this really, really cool car air freshener on my For You page. In other words, TikTok's timeline or news feed as it would be for Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platform in case if you are new to TikTok. But anyway, this was not just any car air freshener, right? It was this pilot air thingy. What? <laughs> so I'll actually put a visual of it somewhere on the screen so y'all can get a better idea of the product. But essentially, it's this bear pilot sitting in one of those little propeller planes, right? And you attach or in fact, you put in a little scent ball inside of it. The magnetic head clips on and then you attach that to your car vent. I thought this was very, very cool. This instantly caught my eye and I knew I had to test it right away, especially utilizing organic because it fulfilled the product criteria I was looking for, which includes the product being a wow factor and impulsive buy. I mean, you don't see these types of car fresheners anywhere, right? Second, it being a low ticket item. I like to sell products between the $20 and $50 selling price range on TikTok because these are more impulsive buys, right? People really don't have a guilty association when they are buying products in this price range. And, you know, there's a lot of younger audiences on TikTok, so those those types of people do not have as much disposable income, for example. Third, the product was also mass targetable and approachable. I mean, think about how many people actually have cars and want to keep their cars smelling nice, clean, and fresh. And last but not least, it was a problem solving and passion product. Sure, this was a quirky, cool little air freshener, but on top of that, it solved the problem, right? It actually made people's cars smell good. So I knew I had something really good in store over here, and I thought I was going to make a lot of money. <laughs> Got <laughs> So I got to work. I built out a nice, clean, optimized looking product page on my Shopify store. I ordered the product off of Amazon so I can actually have the product at hand, make some UGC, in other words, user generated content, and also made my TikTok account. Now I was posting on this account for about three weeks and you won't believe how many sales I got. Bruh. Exactly. I got zero dollars in sales. I made absolutely nothing. So let's look at my account. I was able to amass about 100 followers, get about 2,000 likes in total, and the most my video ever got in terms of views was about 500, which I'll pop up the video right now on the screen so y'all can see. My ex's kitty smells, so I coughed for the wet. So I kind of developed this notion in my head that car air fresheners were more of a seasonal thing that they can be only sold throughout the spring and summer months. You stupid! But I quickly validated that thought through Google Trends and saw that this was not the case. Car air fresheners are in fact evergreen products, which means they can be sold throughout the year. I mean, if you think about it logically, people are always going to want their cars smelling nice and fresh, right? So, you know, this product can be sold throughout the year without any issues, but I obviously didn't. So now what could be the reason of this outcome? 
okay? Obviously the main variant when you're attempting this strategy is the content itself, the UGC that you're actually filming with your iPhone. Now, obviously I'm not a newbie to this, right? I've generated multiple six figures for my Shopify stores by posting on TikTok pages, some of which I've even talked about on the channel before. I personally think this product is still untapped. You know, there's only a handful of pages attempting it to run it organically. And quite frankly, no one's running paid ads on it on TikTok or also Facebook. But obviously it all comes down to numbers. Not every product that you test is going to be successful. Whether someone like myself, who's a seven figure, you know, expert in the e-commerce space tries and attempts it or anyone else that is, you know, very, very successful out in the space does it as well. And it's as simple as that. This game is the sole game of taking feedback into action if you ask me, ladies and gents. There's a lot of micro variants in place in the grand scheme of things, you know, that really determines whether one video or even multiple videos going viral on your TikTok account. And as a result, you making a bunch of sales and buying a Lamborghini. Okay, obviously I'm just kidding about the Lamborghini part. I mean, maybe knowledge truthfully i'm sharing this video because i also want to be transparent about my losses right not every experience is great not every product will be a winner and that's just the truth now of course if you didn't know you know my bread and butter my expertise lie in paid advertising i've been media buying since 2017 and you know 70 to 80 percent of the traffic and sales that are coming from my brands are being driven from paid ads Organic is just something I've truly picked up and implemented over the past year or so because obviously not only is it fun and cool, but it's a great way to, you know, build that social presence, also validate a product with a very, very low budget, and of course, validate creatives that can be later utilized when you're actually running paid ads on platforms like TikTok and Facebook. I'm in no way, shape, or form bashing this strategy or method. I'm in fact putting it on a pedestal. Obviously, you know, it's only going to get harder. I've seen it with my own eyes over the past four to six months, but it's supply demand, right? More creators, more dropshippers are getting on the platform and also more audiences are getting on the platform as well. And as a result, there's this side of the spectrum where people are becoming more aware and more cautionate in terms of where they're buying from, right? I mean, it's just pretty much normal when, you know, a social media platform, any social media platform matures over the next few years. And on top of that, there's algorithmic changes happening every week, month, and every quarter. So you have to also make sure that you keep up with that and you're educated when it comes to those changes, actually knowing and understanding the platform. Despite saying all of this, nonetheless, I really believe that this is a great way to get your foot in the game, especially if you want to stay in it for the long term. And if you're a beginner, if you have a low budget, this is no doubt one of the best ways to drive free and quick sales to your Shopify dropshipping store. Mic drop. By the way, if you do want to go ahead and test this product either with organic posting or with ads, be my guest. I think it would be very cool to see someone else doing well with it. So if you do, let me know in the comments down below how well it works. I personally think it's a little tougher than most products, but it's definitely very, very, very possible. I genuinely hope y'all got something out of this, me being transparent and open with y'all. At the end of the day, that is the main purpose of this channel, to document my journey and show you the goods and the bads and the wins and losses, right? So hope you utilize this information and this knowledge to your advantage. If you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns when it comes to TikTok or anything e-commerce, dropshipping, and digital marketing, make sure you guys do drop it in the comments down below as I do reply to each and every single one of them. If you're a beginner, guys, I also recommend checking out all the links and resources in the description down below. There is tons and tons of helpful tools and resources down there that you won't go wrong with utilizing. Let me know what other kind of content you would like to see on the channel. Obviously, I do these sit down educational videos. I do tutorial videos. I do winning product videos. I do some lifestyle videos. But if there's any other ideas, I'm completely open to them. So other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Till the next one, your boy's out. Peace.